Hey guys, so this is what I was testing out yesterday. These are miniature hangers for drones using the new uh, round armor panels. This is specially doable now because we have heavy armor version of these panels. Because well, before the Warfare Evolution update, we can only do something like this with Windows. And you know, they're not really that strong. So the idea of these uh, miniature hangers is that, well, let's say that you want to keep your mini or smaller drones protected from, you know, enemy fire or whatever, instead of building or dedicating an actual hangar space for these smaller drones, you can just build these smaller miniature hangars. If you don't want your drones to just be sitting around outside, as you can see here, even the smaller version of this hangar can accommodate a relatively large drone here. Uh, this drone used the large battery, for example. We don't even have to, you know, use drones with small batteries to fit inside these hangers. This one is a suicide drone, by the way. And if you make the hanger a little bit bigger, like this one, for example, you can even accommodate drones that have, that have actual weapons, like this Gatling drone, for example. And well, if you look at the color of the hanger there, you can even camouflage the hanger so they blend better with the ground, for example. And over here, we have the fly-through version of the hanger, just for example here. So, you know, if you want to quickly park something and then be able to quickly fly it out again, then you can do it as well. Let's see how much protection this gives to the drones. Here it goes. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot of shots actually, especially considering how I'm, you know, concentrating my shots on a single block like that. Because realistically speaking, especially from a longer distance, the shot will be kind of spread out like that. Considering the cost and PC usage of these miniature hangers, that's a very decent amount of protection. What about, uh, Explosive damage though. Alright, here it goes. Oh. Uh, did that damage the drone inside? Oh, <laughs> I guessing this. The hanger actually protect the drone inside from the explosion. Uh, that's nice. I actually wasn't expecting it to be able to actually handle rocket explosion. Hmm, what about assault cannon shots? Hold on, let me repair this here. Assault cannon. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait, what? Huh. Did it actually negate? Oh, never mind. There we go. It bounced back up here and damaged this panel. Let me see if I can actually hit the drone in there. Ooh. Hmm. So, you know, even though the shot went through, at least it does reduce the damage. Alright, for the final version of this hanger, we got this one over here. So this one is a full enclosure, but the front of the hanger is made out of light armor. Since the front of the hanger is light armor, you can just shoot through it and the drone can just, you know, fly outside like that. That actually works surprisingly well. <laughs> Cannot catch me, Spider-Man. All right, let's try to build one of these on the ground there. <sighs> Look at that. This kind of cute, actually. Well, realistically speaking though, if you have like a ground or voxel, it would probably be better to just, you know, actually use the voxel to protect the drone. Because well, voxel is invincible to weapon damage. So this is mostly useful on ships or, you know, moving ground vehicles. Still pretty cool though. No damage to the drone again. <laughs> Alright, let's say we're flying over a big enemy warship. Let's see how much these things can protect the drones. Oh, what's happening? Uh, Alright, here it goes. I'm gonna uh, move forward. Oh, I mean, it's kind of not fair because the ship got artillery turrets. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh, Almost out of range. Oh. Come on. Oh, look at the drones back there. 
<laughs> One. Almost there. All right. Let's see. Ah. Uh, all right. Let's see if any of the. Ah. Uh, Well, this is fine. Hmm. Are there any shots that land on the hangar? Well. Oh, there we go. This one got shot there by a Gatling gun. See? That's a considerable amount of protection. Especially considering how, you know, enemy fire are not usually concentrated somewhere. Like I mentioned earlier. So this actually worked pretty well in defending these small drones here. Especially from things like jetting fire or rocket launchers. Or you know, rockets in general. Alright, for the final test, let's see what happens. If we crash the ship with the drones on board. I'm gonna crash it upside down here. For maximum effect. Alright, here goes. Ooh. Oh, oh. The trees kind of save us there. Well, one more time. All right, here it goes. We're gonna hit the cliff here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the hangar is not gonna save you from that kind of crest there. But you know, if it's like a more reasonable crest like this one here. It can probably give them some kind of, uh, you know, protection. So if the ship uh, flip over, for example, like this here, then, well, the hangar can probably dampen the impact damage. Let's see out here. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. So, that's how these miniature hangars can be useful for drones on space engineers. Look at this uh, ship upside down like this, by the way. Looks kind of cool. 